Hey guys, this is the last section of the tutorial and what we're going to learn here is how to you know have or make simple plots or generate simple plots using pandas. Uh, let's import pandas the way we usually do. Uh, import, import pandas as pd and then here we'd like to import this matplotlib library. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, that's necessary because panda relies on it. And then we need to enable matplotlib to basically display the plots or the graphs on uh, IPython notebooks and this is how to do that percentage matplotlib space inline so learn this command and then we create our data frame and then uh, in the data frame we have this plot method if I do shift tab on it I'm sorry shift tab um, and then we can have a look it has so many options and what it does, it's just, you know, plotting, data frame plotting, accessor and, and method. And, um, you know, we can access them differently, but by default, uh, it plots, um, you know, a line plot, but we can change it to plot um, a box plot or bar plot and things like that. And we, have, we can have, you know, scatter, we can have... Um, or we will also look have a look at, you know, plotting a histogram. So there are so many options. Um, we can pass it, you know, x and y. Where is the yeah? So x, we can pass it x, the, the x data, the y data. We can pass it the kind. By default, it's line, but we can change it uh, to bar plot things like that. Uh, if we want to have uh, subplots, or uh, we, we if we want to, you know. Uh, Customize the layout or change the fig size the actual figure size uh, What else can we can we do we can have legend, you know true or not? Yes or not we can have a grid if you wanted and so on and so forth. So there's so many options that we can uh, play with okay uh, It's a very useful stuff, but let's just stick to the simple things and what we're going to do here is we're going to call the plot um, Function or plot method to plot city values for us and here to you know specify kind as bar so we wanted a bar plot of the city and by default it will find the numerical values uh, the other numerical columns and display them as a you know bar plot so if I, and legend equals none I just want to disappear the legend if I run that then it gives me a list of the cities with the you know score one and score two values because by default it automatically Detects the numerical uh, uh, columns, okay, or numerical values in the column in the in the you know subsequent columns. So Tripoli score one, score two. Let's display the legend. So here score one is blue, score two is green for Tripoli, Sydney, and so on and so forth. And we can also customize. I'm saving that as you know in my plot object, so I can use the method set x label and pass it a string to set the label city let's say and then set the y label to do city run that and as you can see it runs quite nicely and now we have the labels uh, a score value here and city here and we can also give it a, give it a title if we want we'll learn that in uh, the, the coming video and another um, option that uh, we can have here is stacked so we can generate you know uh, a stacked bar plot I can say here stacked equals true and then to set the, um, the uh, x label y label maybe my plot to set you see you can we can set several things um, maybe set title we can do the title either here or here that's fine and then you know my stacked bar plot or something like that run it and then here I have the title there my stack bar plot I have the legend it's true by default I can disappear it if you want and you know specifying the kind as bar and then here I'm you know setting the fig size to 9 inch by 7 inch so to 9 by 7 inches okay and then we have that you know nice and easy to generate and display and that's a bar plot. Maybe in the coming video we'll have a look at to generate a histogram. And like we said, um, by default it, um, it 
by default the plot is a line plot so if I if I disappear this and then run it so just just plot city it will generate a line plot of the two score values so the x-axis is the city the y-axis is the scores and uh, you can see that I have here you know score one in blue and score two in green for each city so by default it's a line plot as we read in the documentation okay uh, what else can we do um, yeah well let's stop here and in the next video we're gonna see how we can um, generate a histogram and probably what kind of other plots do we have okay maybe a scatter plot yeah we'll have a look at scatter plot as well right so let's stop here and I'll, I'll see you in the next video